Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is Andrew from Schnauzer Face Minis. And today I've got Thunderhead from War Machine. He's part of my wife's Signar army. I got him used and he's missing a couple bits. But, you know, it's a rough economy. What are you going to do? I almost always prime models white. I've tried the Xenophil priming technique, which involves priming the model black, then spraying white from above. This is a great concept, as the highlights will already be light, and the shadows will already be dark. But this technique just isn't for me. A white base allows for saturated, vibrant colors, even in the shadows. And I'm not a big fan of muted, dark colors in the shades. I find shadows much more exciting to paint than highlights, because there's opportunity to introduce a variety of colors that can complement the rest of the piece. Shadows can be so much more than just black or a darker shade of the base coat, and bringing contrasting colors into the shadows can make the model so much more interesting. I use a red ink in the shadows to complement the blue model, and depending on how heavily I apply the tint, I can get various shades of purple along with the reds and blues. To shade the white parts, I dab various oil paints on the model. Then I dip a flat brush in mineral spirits, wipe away most of the thinner, and then start dragging the oils away. If I'm careful not to blend the oils together, this will leave behind light streaks of different colors. This is a fun way to work color nuances into the shades and midtones. So today is a big day for me because it's a celebration for two of the most important people in my life. And I'm talking, of course, about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Congratulations on the baby, guys. You did it. You're an inspiration. It's comforting to know that two rich idiots can find each other in today's crazy world and, hey, maybe eventually get married for a little while. It's also two other important celebrations. First, it's Father's Day. And I want to say thank you to my father for all the support he's given me and all the sacrifices he made along the way. I love you, Pops. He taught me everything I really needed to know, especially how to be a husband, which is great because today I'm also celebrating my one-year wedding anniversary. And this has been the happiest, most memorable year of my life, and I owe that to the most beautiful, patient, supportive, loving, and all-around perfect wife in the whole world. I love you more than anything, honey. And to everyone out there who bet that she'd realize I'm a complete doofus and leave me within the first year, well, in your face.
I base coated the silvers with VMA Black Metallic and then highlighted with Vallejo Liquid Gold Silver. This way the shadows are dark but still reflective. An oil wash ties the two shades together for an easy and effective silver workflow. Signar is defined by its mastery of arcane energy, so I wanted to emphasize that by giving some OSL to the energy coils. I base coat everything white, and then gently spray white around the coils. This is basically a controlled sloppiness. I hit the main areas first, then carefully go outside the lines. On those areas, I don't want full coverage. I gently mist with white to let the underlying colors shine through. I use Minotaur Plasma Fluid for the coils and OSL. I give the coils a slightly heavier coat and avoid overdoing it on everything else. I decided not to use P3 Arcane Blue, which is one of my favorite colors, because Plasma Fluid is a transparent ink, and that's just better suited for glow effects. I don't want to cover the paint underneath, I just want to give it a bright, glowy tint. I mix plasma fluid with VMA white and begin highlighting the coils. I use progressively less and less plasma fluid with each new layer until I'm using pure white. For the base, I use a piece from a cork bark that's meant for reptile and amphibian habitats. It's cheap and easy to find at any pet store, and gives a really convincing rocky effect. I want a slightly red base to complement the blue model. I want the base to stand out without drawing attention away from the model, which should be the focal point. Using subtle, contrasting colors is a great way to keep the base from getting lost in the shuffle without stealing the whole show. Finally, I mix reddish weathering pigments with water to a wash consistency. I slop it all over, and when the water dries, it'll leave behind a realistic, dusty finish. After that, I throw on some snow and grass, and it's good to go. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. 
I know it's been a long time since my last video, but I do anticipate a much steadier stream of content now. So I hope all the dads have a great Father's Day, and I'll be back soon with another video. Be good to each other, and thanks so much for watching.